So obviously over the weekend, the four page summary letter from William Barr was sent out summarizing his interpretation of what is in the Mueller report. So we're gonna be discussing that. We can only go so far though, because we don't have the full Mueller report. What we do have is a four page letter, which contains 98 words quoted from the final report that is gonna be well over a 1000 pages long. <laughs> It's kind of a comically small amount from the final report. In fact, in just a couple of graphics, we're gonna read more than half of all of those words. <laughs> so, um, but what, what I do wanna focus on is not Barr's interpretation necessarily, because he can say whatever he wants. I'm, I'm going from the point of view that he, what he is saying is an accurate reflection of the report. Right. But I would like to add another useless caveat, that might not be true. And so if it turns out not to be true, obviously we're gonna have to modify our interpretations. But I'm assuming that Mueller was serious and honest, and oddly, Barr is doing the same, although of course he was put in that position not to be. Right. But we will assume that he is. So the most important headline quote from the summary letter is, the investigation did not establish that members of the Trump campaign conspired or coordinated with the Russian government in its election interference activities. Now, it might not matter what sentences come before or after that. But if it does matter, we don't know because we don't have those sentences, but that by itself is very straightforward. It is saying that they did not find clear evidence, actionable evidence of a conspiracy between Trump, members of his campaign, and the Russian government. So we don't have that. Which is mind blowing for a lot of people, I think. Uh -huh. Just kind of following along with this, what? Everything seems so clear. Yeah, exactly. I mean, I look, I think for that, mm -hmm. for evidence that would actually lead to the to Mueller saying, oh, by the way, the DOJ should totally take down Trump or whatever, um, that would require a lot of evidence. And right. apparently it isn't there. Look, it could be that, uh, like some people, the frustration with all of this is that there were maybe like three people in the country who were like, Huh, I want to just, I want to read the summary and then evaluate based on what's there. <laughs> right. Everybody else was right. It turns out, it's crazy, everybody <laughs> was right before. Uh, that's weird how that always works out, everybody is right. Um, but here's the thing, it could be that there's evidence that he didn't find. But, I mean, he had almost two years, he had tons of lawyers, he had a lot of resources. I would imagine that if he is being honest, and I don't see any reason why Mueller would not have been being honest For in sure. prosecuting this, if it was there to be found, he would have found it. Right. There are a couple of needless, pointless caveats to that. One, we should acknowledge, is it not insane that in an almost 700 day investigation, he never spoke with Donald Trump? Never interviewed Donald Trump. And we found out at the time as they were going back and forth in the negotiations that the Trump team didn't want Trump to talk to Mueller because they couldn't trust him to not lie to Mueller. Lie about what, I don't know, since apparently there was no underlying crime. But they never spoke with the guy who was being investigated. Now that does not mean that this conclusion is wrong. Again, I'm going with the assumption that it is accurate. But it's really weird to not talk to the guy you're investigating at any point over the course of two years. Right, it was almost like they, they decided, you know, ah, it's just not worth the trouble. We're not gonna find anything from him. I think <laughs> at worst, he would create, he would do something newly illegal, mm -hmm. like lie. Mm -hmm. You know? Yeah, which but is what took down several other members of his administration. Exactly, but I think, I guess they just decided it's not worth the trouble, like fighting to get him there because yeah. he's not gonna. Well, we're not gonna uncover anything different from all of this information that we have right here. Mm -hmm. I don't know, it's a bummer though, because I mean. Yeah, well look, what's interesting about this, both that quote and the one that we're gonna read next is it does require reevaluating the meanings of certain words. Because okay. obviously look, he's saying no co coordination. Now he does say specifically with members of the Russian government. He doesn't say with people affiliated with the Russian, the Russian government, government or anything right. like that. So hypothetically, there might be something in the report there, but I'm assuming that that's not substantive and won't change the evaluation. I mean, there are still standout things like like Don Jr. being connected, uh, being contacted and saying, uh, well, by the way, the Russian government wants your, your father to get elected, we wanna help you out. And he says, I love it, let's meet up. And all of the highest ranking members of the campaign meet with this person. Now it might be that nothing came of that, but that certainly seems like attempted conspiracy, but apparently it doesn't rise to the level. It's just, That's what we're finding out. This has, you know, it's been almost two years. And I just think people were expecting this to be very clear and simple. Like, you know, this is what you did, this is what you did. Oh, by the way, second page, your kids are going to prison. Like, I, th I think mm -hmm. people thought this was going to be like very clear. Mm -hmm. Because I feel like the way the president has been acting look very fearful of this. And if you don't have anything to hide, yeah, I mean, 
and you're the president. Yeah, look, you know what I mean. Because the president can get away with a lot of stuff. So if you, especially well, if you out. don't have anything to hide, you'd be good. You're not going to get railroaded like some small time crack dealer in the Bronx. Mm -hmm. Like you actually could be good if you have nothing to hide. And he's been acting so scared. So I think I just, yeah, a lot of us expected something different than this. Yeah, or anything. I mean, over two years, who knows what to expect. Right. Um, but I will say, before we move on to the uh, obstruction, which I find to be much more interesting and the summary to be much more frustrating, um, let's just let's just briefly play a game. Okay. So uh, as I talked about on the Young Turks on Friday, uh, this investigation has been going on for almost 700 days. <laughs> uh, that's a long time okay. and a lot has happened during that time. And uh, although Mueller has been very good apparently at not leaking much of anything, really, that's not directly going to be acted on in a court, we weren't finding out details. We did find out a lot over the course of two years. And imagine if we were to go back to day one, not knowing anything that we know now, and then we go 700 days, nothing's leaked, we find out nothing. And then in the end, the report drops and it says, "Oh, we've got 37 different indictments. We've got Trump's lawyer goes down, his national security advisor goes down, his campaign manager goes down, virtually every major figure in his inner circle, for some reason, apparently unconnected to any crime was lying about contacts with Russian nationals or officials in the Russian government. Uh, obviously, a, a whole long list of people actually working for the Russian government and hackers all get indicted as well. Corporations get indicted, all of that. We find out about the Trump Tower meeting, we find out about uh, Trump Tower Moscow. If we'd found out all about that in the report, that seems like a bombshell. But because it gets dribbed and drabbed over the course of two years and every single thing gets dissected and then normalized and suddenly, no matter how bad the quotes seem, we just move on, doesn't really matter anymore. Mm -hmm. If all of that came out at once, it would seem absolutely massive. And it, on day one, oh, you right. never could have predicted that all that would happen. That virtually every one of his cronies and toadies would go down other than members of his family. But it comes out over the course of two years, and so it seems like, eh, no conspiracy. That's such a good point, yeah. I try to make good points because the Because now he gets to, to say, reasonable. like all of these people, you know, every time something happened, something new happened. Oh, this was a bad egg, this was a bad egg. And then you're forgetting that there's been 5,000 bad eggs. Yeah, exactly. And then it just at the end, he gets to say, but I didn't do anything. Yeah. And so you're left in this weird position where uh, can Donald Trump and his supporters say that this is a good result in the end? Yes, I think they can. Absolutely. Partially because of the way it went down. But imagine like, imagine Obama saying, I am victorious after so many of the people who worked for me, my personal lawyer, my national security advisor, campaign manager, all of that going down for multiple felonies. Would anyone say Obama was a winner? He dodged a bullet there. I, I don't think so. I, I, it but would be the weird so expectations game works out for Trump here. Right. I mean, somehow the, the Senate would have had Obama on house arrest mm -hmm. in handcuffs this for the two years. Probably. Somehow. Yeah, there yeah. would have been some sort of punishment before the report even came out. There's yeah. no way in any of this. He would, would have, have never gotten happened. a single Supreme Court <laughs> uh, nominee, let alone uh, right. not just the last one. Thank you very much for watching this clip from the Damage Report. If you liked it, don't forget to subscribe to this channel and ring the bell on YouTube to get notifications of our new videos. And of course, you can catch the full Damage Report live every weekday at 1 p.m. Eastern, 10 a.m. Pacific on TYT Network on YouTube TV.